This is Rebel Therapist, a podcast for entrepreneurs who are trained as therapists and who want to level up their businesses, make a bigger impact, feel fulfilled, and be very well paid. I'm your host, Annie Schusler. Before I jump in, if you'd like to get my help creating your signature program beyond private practice, I have a special offer for you. I'm opening early access to create your program later this month, specifically between June 19th and June 26th. Create Your Program is the place where I help you in a step-by-step process with niching, creating your pilot program, marketing, and launching. All right, here's how this special early access offer works. In September, the cohort starts with live calls. You have weekly calls with me and a live Q&A session with a lawyer and a live Q&A session with a tech expert. For BIPOC participants, you have three additional group calls with a BIPOC business mentor. And all that happens over 10 weeks starting in the middle of September. But if you want to get all the curriculum ahead of time so that you can get started and have an extra three months to work on this before the group calls start, you can get in during that window, September June 19th to June 26th. There's no extra cost. So get on the wait list now to be notified as soon as early access opens up. Head over to rebeltherapist.me slash create. Everyone gets scared to launch their first program. Someone asked recently, what if I'm really scared to launch my program? Like there are powerful individuals and structures out there who might really want to do me harm when I launch this program. And maybe putting myself out there associated with this particular work might actually be dangerous to me or to my family. This is such a great question. Let's agree not to give in to the usual online marketing answer. Just do the mindset work. Yes, there is mindset work here, but that's not all there is. So let's just agree on that. Visibility stuff comes up for all of us. I know I have it. Everyone I've ever worked with has had some stuff come up around their childhood or upper limit stuff or self-esteem or imposter syndrome or shame. Every single one of us needs and deserves to do some important internal work around using our voices. And I think it's gaslighting to say it's the same for everyone. When you're deciding to get more visible and you've got a marginalized identity, or you're sharing messages that directly oppose our power structures, it's not just about getting out of your own way. If in your program, you are speaking out against, let's say, anti-Black racism, or you're talking about fat liberation, or you're talking about trans liberation, You're also being brave in an additional and different way besides that internal mindset work. So let's take me for a second. My niche is not as risky of a niche as some other folks. I'm a business coach and strategist. Yes, I talk about being queer and I'm a woman and I have so much privilege in so many ways, having money, being white, cisgendered, and on and on. And even with all of that privilege and a relatively non-risky niche, I absolutely need and deserve to have colleagues I can get really vulnerable with and feel through my own visibility and exposure fears. We all need that and deserve that. And then there's this other layer too that's really important for folks with marginalized identities and whose programs directly oppose those power structures. On a recent group call in Create Your Program, this question got asked, like, what if I am really scared and for good reason? What if I'm really afraid? And we stopped. As much as I love strategy and decision-making and thinking through marketing, it was clear this is not the moment to decide anything or strategize anything. It's the time to pause and feel, and be with this fear with a lot of care. And by the way, I do not have the right answer about how visible you should decide to be. I don't really think there is one. But here are a couple things I'm pretty sure I do know from my own experience and from helping a lot of people launch their programs. 
Number one, you've got to get with people who really understand what is at stake and who can support you emotionally through the process and can support you spiritually through the process. If you're part of a marginalized group and especially if your work is related to opposing a power structure, like your BIPOC, let's say, you're trans, you're disabled, you're fat, and especially if your work is related to one of those systems of oppression, especially in those cases, you just cannot do this alone. And then what if those people who you need to go to for support are also afraid? That doesn't mean that they can't support you and that you can't support them. I think the idea that someone has to be all the way through to the other side and they have to have conquered all their visibility questions, I think that is a lie that we need to give up on. The idea that as therapists and healers especially, we need to be totally healed before we can heal others is just not true. We can actually have mutual support while we're figuring this stuff out. So get with the people who really understand what's at stake for you and can support you emotionally. And maybe you're thinking, but what if there are no people who can understand or support me? I really think there are. (laughs) I believe, and I'm going to bet, there is someone who can support you in this and would love to be there for you and to have you be there for them. I've been shocked at how true this is over and over again, that once we are really putting our antenna up, and we are really available for it, that that support is going to be there. It might mean really, really asking for help and really reaching out to people who you feel like you might be able to trust and starting a conversation. And that might be very hard. And what might that look like, asking for that kind of support? And I'm not, in this moment, I'm not even talking about support from a business coach or strategist. I'm talking about someone who understands what's at stake for you and wants to support you. And it might look like saying, I need you to get over here right now and sit on my couch because I'm thinking about pressing send on an email that is scary and you understand what it means. Or I need you to stay on the phone with me right now while I feel through what I want to do next. That's what support could look like. So that's number one, get with the people who really understand what's at stake and what you're going through and ask them for help. And then number two is listen to the feelings that are coming up. Let the fear speak. Don't rush it to go away. That fear isn't the only force that's gonna be helping you make decisions, but you can listen to it. You can allow it to be heard and felt and have a seat at the table. So on that recent group call, that's, that's all we did. We paused and we allowed the entire process to slow down. And I just said, this isn't the moment. This isn't the moment to decide anything, strategize anything, figure out your best move. It's really time to pay attention and you deserve that. And so that's what I want to say to you. Next time on the pod, I have a really good example for you. In the next episode, we're going to be hearing from Dr. Damon Constantinidis, and the program he created is a trans mask sexual pleasure group. That is brave. Trans folks are under attack always and a ton right now. So Damon talks about his decisions about creating this program and about being visible with this work in the episode. Until then... Get on the wait list for Create Your Program so you can get early access. That's coming up soon. Go over to rebeltherapist.me slash create and come sign up for a free Q&A with me about creating your first program. The next one is going to be on June 14th at 9 a.m. And even if you can't make it live, if you register, you're going to have a chance to submit a question to me and then you're going to get the replay. So grab your spot at rebeltherapist.me slash question. And that's totally free. I'll see you there. I want to thank Cosmo Palms for editing this podcast. If you found this episode supportive, please share it with your favorite therapist or healer. That is absolutely how we reach more people. And thank you so much for listening. I'll see you next time.